Okay, my name is Bob Maynard. I'm the uh, prison and jail monitor for the John Howard Association. Um, I live in Chicago. I inspect prisons for a living. The John Howard Association is named after an English prison reformer from the um, 18th century. He's sort of the father of prison reform. And John Howard Association um, was organized here in Illinois in 1901. And it's been inspecting prisons, jails, juvenile facilities ever since. Um, we're not lawyers, although we've got a room full of them. We don't represent people. Um, we represent the interests of people in prison and the interests of society. What we do is go to the prisons and um, basically inspect them. And I look at everything, um, sanitation in the kitchen, uh, the quality of mental health care, uh, how crowded is the prison, um, is it safe, um, is there, are there educational opportunities. Um, then after that, which takes all day, and I take a group of volunteers with me to help, then we prepare a report, written report. And it goes to the, the governor and the head of the Department of Corrections and a couple of thousand other people who are interested in, in prison issues. And then periodically, the association um, also will do a special report on something. Uh, most recently, we did one on education and the fact that higher education is being abolished in the prison system. Um, we're a small outfit here. We've only got uh, three staff people. Um, one of my colleagues um, um, does juvenile justice. I do only adult, um, uh, adult justice. So that's pretty much what John Howard Association is. Okay, what you've got here is um, 27 prisons in Illinois, actually 28, but one is not occupied. Uh, it contains about 45,000 individuals. They were designed to hold 33,000. So as you can tell, they're grossly overcrowded. Uh, the prison system now, because of the very lengthy sentences given out and the end of an early release program that was controversial, are grossly overcrowded. They're beginning to uh, bunk people in um, you know, gyms and infirmaries and other places where you ordinarily would not have a person living. Um, there is no solution to this problem that I know of, certainly no political solution on the horizon. It's simply going to get worse. Every week sets a new record in the prison population in Illinois. And that is the principal problem that, this, that the prison system faces. There's too many people in prison that don't belong there, okay? Twenty percent of the population in prison in this state is there for marijuana, okay? At the end of last year, we had 63 people in prison for disturbing the peace. Now, how do you go to prison for disturbing the peace, okay? We've got people in prison for vehicle code violations, not drunk driving. This is just something was wrong with your car, and you got a prison sentence for it, okay? Um, there are wide disparities in sentencing in this state. Um, for example, in Chicago, if you get caught with 72 Valium in your uh, pocket and no prescription for them, you probably get probation, okay? It's no big deal. Uh, if, if you get caught in a rural county down south, you may get three years in state custody for that same 72 Valium without a prescription. Um, this leads to some incongruities in sentencing then there's the social perception of what should be done with adult inmates, okay? Typically people want to deny them education. Um, they want them to, to be as uncomfortable as possible. And they want them to be gone for as long as possible. Now, these are three ways to guarantee that someone's going to reoffend, okay? No education, ill treatment, long time in, in confinement. They come out and 93% of the people who go to prison come back out again, okay? If they don't come out better, they're gonna come out worse. Uh, which do you prefer?